What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Cologne Podcast. I'm Mike. And I'm Ryan. And we're just two best friends going on a fragrance journey, smelling fragrances and giving you an uneducated opinion. That's right. And today we have a a first for us, technically. Well, no, it's the second time, right? Yes. We have a full bottle sent to us, folks. Ooh, and you know what that means. It means we're shilling. (laughs) No, we're not. That's right. (laughs) Uh, It means that, just like last time, we're going to be mailing out some decants. So, first five people to email us with your address have to be in the U.S., unfortunately, just because we are broke. And we're trying to figure out how much all this stuff usually costs to send stuff out. Right, yeah. But if you'll let us know, send us an email, thecologuepodcast at gmail.com. Say, hey. I have never smelled Kajalom 2. That's right. And I want to smell it. Give us your address and we're going to send you out a five mil sample. We'll pay for the postage and everything. But yeah, we will send you, we're going to send out five, five mil decants to the first five people that write us and just say, hey, I want some shit. You know what? It wouldn't hurt your chances if uh, you went ahead and told us how much you loved us as well. Yeah, that, that'd make things nice. Let me tell you someone who may or may not have loved <laughs> Kajalum 2. Okay. Daja Kill on Fragrantica. <laughs> I picked this review because of our last episode. Listen to what he said. Okay. To my nose, it's like a niche quality version of Sauvage plus YEDP. Okay. Plus some other blue fragrances. It's definitely a blue fragrance. Good for any occasion and any weather. Smells great. Longevity and projection are all right, but it's nothing to write home about. Huh. Interesting from the person with the Call of Duty handle. Daja Kill. <laughs> well, I'm excited to smell it, man. I am too. This has a very special connection to it, us. It does. Because it was sent by a friend of the podcast, Mo, who works with Kajal. I think he's part owner of Kajal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But he's been a longtime friend of the podcast. In fact, he's donated some coffees. He's written some reviews. We've gotten to have a nice video chat with him. And he left this Apple review I wanted to read because I feel like he really gets us, Ryan. I think he does. It's five out of five stars. And he said- (laughs) Out the gate, great. (laughs) Yes. Tell you what, we already love home too, by the way. I haven't even smelled it. Uh, He said, they're a fun, funny duo. He said, if you ever want a mood lifting, entertaining podcast to listen to, these guys rock. Mike's witty, funny comments and Ryan's contagious laugh always seem to put me in a better mood. And oh, yes, they do offer an uneducated opinion on sense. That's an added bonus. Man, that's a really good review, man. I like that. I love this fragrance. (laughs) Uh, uh, so when we did a little video chat with Mo and he let us know that he'd be sending us something, he said, please, for the love of God, don't pull any punches. He did. If you hate it, hate it hard. Let the people know. Yeah, I was actually kind of shocked. This guy, again, this guy has donated to us a few times and we've never reviewed anything. And kind of shame on us, though, because there was we were actually interested in this one. Yeah, I'm so glad this one was the one that when we opened the mailbox, it was in there. Yes, and Mike works around a young lady who wears one of these fragrances, not this one. They wear Lamar. And so Mike kind of has a little bit of knowledge on this. I've seen this bottle when we went to the scent room in Dallas, and I remember spraying it, but I can't remember what it smelled like. It's gorgeous. We've already opened the box and looked at the (laughs) bottle, so we're going to get into that. But first, we do have to get into our one-night stand review of Yves Saint Laurent's YEDP. Hit the music, Todd. Yeah. One-night stand review. Okay, Mike, after staying the night with Yves Saint Laurent and waking up and smelling that beautiful YEDP from yesterday, what do you think? It is a sweet, savory experience. I was going to say, man, for a designer fragrance, I got six or seven hours out of it. Pretty, 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 (laughs) pretty good. Pretty good. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. This thing, I've got the car stock in my hand right here. Yeah. This thing smells fucking good. Yeah. What's up with the listeners, man? 
Man, a lot of people hating on that YEDP, maybe because it's so simple, but, you know. I love this shit. It's kind of like, we've mentioned this before, but vanilla ice cream is very simple. But if you get a good vanilla ice cream, sometimes that's all you need. Yeah, it'll pop your plates. Pop them right off. (laughs) Church of pop off. (laughs) But yeah, I'm smelling again on the cardstock. It's so safe. It's so perfect. But I mean, if I worked in an office and I was dressed up, this shit would make your outfit look even better. I really mean that. This is one of those kind of scents to me. Yeah, I feel like... Fuck. You got to keep in mind, too, ladies and gentlemen of the podcast, that sometimes just a nice scent is inviting to people. Yeah. That when you get around them, it makes you a little bit easier to communicate with. So don't always bank off of compliments on the fragrance. That's right. Sometimes it creates an atmosphere of like, this guy smells good. I'm going to chat with him. Yesterday, I had to do some lab work, Ryan. (laughs) I was sitting in that, you know, the big chair that they have you sit in with the little armrest so they can suck all your blood out. Hey, you know that armrest thing that comes down that like goes in front of you? That's actually, if you pass out, it catches you from falling to the floor. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, cool. I learned that. Yeah, well, I felt like I was strapped into a roller coaster. <laughs> and after I stood up, after they sucked out about half a gallon of blood, I felt like I'd been on one. <laughs> but the nurse was very friendly. <laughs> and I've got to attribute some of that to YEDP. <laughs> It had to be that. (laughs) It had to be that. It couldn't be my winsome personality (laughs) at all. So we're still saying, I'm assuming you are. I am. This shit's a buy for me. Yes, it absolutely. It really is. I'm going to fucking buy this. Yeah. God, that is such a... Cl- it's If any of y'all have ever smelled Dylan Blue, it's similar to that opening, but me and Mike were talking about this. Dylan Blue dries down kind of weird. Especially for me, because I don't like aquatic. Yeah. I mean, I don't mind it. I think Dylan Blue's another great fragrance. I don't know if we... Have we even did... Did we do an episode on Dylan Blue? Yeah. Wow. Well, anyway, it's a great fragrance. I don't know what I said, but if I were to imagine, I'm probably hyped it up. But this right here, I hadn't smelled it since it first came out, but I'm blown away. It's like that, but somehow better. I do want a bottle of it. I I really do. Yeah. Probably won't get a bottle of it, but I can probably get a 30 mil decant pretty cheap. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into the scent of the day, Ryan. I can hardly take it anymore. (laughs) Yeah. There's our one night stand review of Why EDP by East St. Laurent. Now let's get into this 10 out of 10 home to (laughs) Bacajal. That's right. Here we go. Do the honors, Ryan. Oh my God. Unbox that beautiful copper bottle. Shiny as fuck. I mean, I'm just going to be real. I know... (laughs) I know we don't talk about shit like this, but it is kind of rare we get a bottle. The first one was Dark. Yes, by uh, Sapphire Studios. Yeah, so it is fun when you get a box. I mean, it's just like if I had the money to order something, which is rare. But when I do get a bottle of anything, hell, I got a bottle of La Nuit de Lome six months ago, and I'm like, God damn, I fucking love opening this. <laughs> yeah. It's like Christmas. But man, the packaging's pretty cool. But I'll tell you what I really love, because it looks sexy as fuck in the scent room. It's the lid. Dude, that lid, man. God, that thing is sexy. And this thing looks like just a big copper bottle. Man, shit's sexy. Gorgeous. And now, oh, you know what time it is. Yeah. Spray it up, y'all. Are we spraying it? Oh, my damn. God, that atomizer is fucking sick. I told you, man. That shit is badass. That's what I remember when I was in the scent room. I was like, fuck. Damn. It's kind of, I hope people don't hate me for saying this, but it reminds me a little bit of the whatchamacallit that we smelled not too long ago. And that one reminded me of what I'm about to say, too. It reminds me of Czar. And I fucking love that fragrance. Man, this shit's got a nice old school kick to it, man. I fucking love this. Do you know what it... Honestly, God, I'm going to say this. And Mo, if you're listening, please don't be upset. <laughs> be upset. Crucify this. You know what remi- it reminds me of? It reminds me of Tom Ford's fucking fabulous a little bit, but it's like a, this is like a spicier, more wearable version. Really? Yes. Do you have any decants of fucking fabulous around? Yeah. I've got a um, travel atomizer from Tom Ford. Is it at the house? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to smell it because I don't remember it smelling like that at all. Well, the other day we were talking about, remember I said, Brian from My Two Cents had said that. Tuscan leather was supposed to smell like cocaine. I had never heard that. I had heard that people were saying that fucking fabulous was supposed to smell like cocaine. Okay. And you were like, what does it smell like? And I said, it reminds me of like 
baby powder and gummy worms. Really? Yeah. And this has that sweet sort of almost candy-like base to it. Very sweet, but it's got that spiciness on top. This is a really interesting... I don't get any of the blue fragrance that we're talking about. At all. This doesn't even smell anything like white EDP. At all. Yeah. Or Blue Day Chanel. No. But it has that sort of sweet base that I really love about fucking fabulous. I'm actually going to go a way different route because it's hitting here. It smells similar to that juice box one that's based off of Kurt Cobain. That one is harsh. That one's really harsh. I don't remember that one. It's got, when we smell in the scent room, it smells real smoky and I guess whatever cocaine is supposed to smell like. But it's like, (laughs) it smells whatever, but it's. A hint of that, but it's got that sweet, which you're talking about. And to me, it's like a burn. It's like a burn and sweet to me, but it's it's old school and I fucking love it. It's got a huge pair on it. <laughs> I'm about to send five emails to the cologne podcast at gmail.com <laughs> so, I can, so I can get me some decants of this. God, this is great. Yeah. So for me, I'm just going to break down for the listeners what it smells like to my nose, which is very uneducated, but it is like a like sweet, I'm going to say gumdrop because I saw in Fragrantica, that's like what they use for like sweet notes. That's yeah. the little avatar th- type thing, but it has this very sweet candy bottom to it, but it's got like a little spiciness. It's like a m- very masculine sweet fragrance. And this thing is pretty badass. I'm shocked. This is not at all what I expect it to smell like whatsoever. No. So it's trending pretty okay. Hold on, he's got a. He just picked the bottle up. He's spraying all over himself. I really want to experience this. We got the juice to do it, Ryan. I'm spraying it up. Y'all. Got a hundred in. Fish and see how I really do it, Mark. God, I did three. Ryan's already at ten. This is how I do it at the house, bro. Oh my God, I don't think you need that much. They call me Macho. <laughs> He's spraying his ass. <laughs> now, who going to lay down with that? <laughs> Dude, I love this fucking scent. This is sick. What I was going to say is it's trending pretty good. It's not redlining at the moment. That makes me want to ask, do you feel like it's a winter, summer, anytime? What do you feel like? I agree with Daja Kill from Fragrantica that it is a real like anytime type of fragrance. Right when it comes out of the bottle, it's kind of peppery. I love that. Man, I do love that. I love that so much. It's only $210. For 100 mil. Which is not bad, honestly. Which is really affordable on the niche side of fragrances, to be honest. Considering that Blue Day Chanel is 150 bucks, yeah, I'd say so. Well, I think it's like for the Parfum, it's 180 That's right. Because you got the Parfum. I got the EDP. Yeah. And this is an EDP. So, yeah, still. So, that'd be the best thing compared to 50 bucks more and you're in a niche. In a badass niche. Dude, that freaking bottle is sick. It's sad because me and Michael, neither one of us will be able to take this bottle to our house. It'll just have to sit as a trophy within the studio. <laughs> Either that or we could have joint custody three days, you know. <laughs> Three days a piece and one at the studio. I'm like, got the bottle in my hand. I'm like, your other daddy's just not my, good to you. My process. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's like trying to turn it against me. <laughs> I've got custodial rights to this thing, right? <laughs> well, technically it said Mike, then Ryan on the box. So, <laughs> uh, Mo, you just started a fight. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how the podcast ended. <laughs> so, I got to ask, who's wearing this? A lot of people. A lot of people could wear this. I feel like it's sweet enough that it could be youthful. Yeah. So I really think, you know, like 18 and up. Yeah. Me, I think it's a 30 and up crowd for me, man, for sure. I feel like it's a little bit, you got your shit together kind of smell. That would be me. Wow, man. It's a badass opening. I love that smell. It's crazy because it's like whenever I smell it on the back of my hand, which is where I sprayed it first. Yeah. It's that sweetness. Yeah. But then whenever I smell it on my arm, where I also sprayed it, (laughs) it's more peppery citrus. God damn, Ryan. How many is that? <laughs> well, I was I forgot to spray my sh- like I want to do one on my shirt so I could like Oh, yeah. Like kind of like Tessa, the card uh-huh. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pray to God we can fill five decants after this episode. <laughs> <I know. laughs> okay. Skip it, sample it, buy it. What are you going to do, Ryan? 
Well, I have one already. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't. <laughs> I would probably, at very least, I'm definitely getting a sample of it, but I would probably buy it. I remember it smelling good in the scent room, and I love the fucking bottle. I don't collect much. I really don't. I think I have like eight bottles <laughs> at the house and they're all practically almost spent so this would be something fun for me to have me personally and i love the smell i mean i really do it to me it's got an old school feel because of that i feel like it's more in my era and up so i want to rock the shit out of that for the price that it is i'm with you financially i just can't <laughs> go out and buy bottles but it would be one that i would probably want and again, I hate to compare it, but just because I do love Tom Ford's fucking fabulous so yeah. much, and this really is that same type of fragrance profile. Yeah. It's a similar in style of fragrance. And since I love that fragrance, and this one has that same attitude, but it's way more affordable. Yeah. It is tempting because it does fill that little void for you. Yeah. After this episode, you're going to have to let me smell fucking fabulous because let's do an episode on it because I don't remember it smelling like this. I remember it just being sweet. I don't remember having any type of burn type of thing. That's where this one kind of goes a little bit above and beyond. Yeah. This has a little bit of that spiciness to it yeah. uh, that makes it really intriguing. That sweet, spicy sort of fragrance. But this also just has a lot going on. It's blended so well that it like it makes you kind of wonder what's happening it's hard to put your finger on i want to interject just real quick because i really think it's so close to czar and i fucking love that fragrance anybody out there that's listening to this silly ass show if somebody out there has for real an actual bottle of van cleef's czar for the love of god reach out to us i'll pay whatever to get a little decant from you. I want to get a decant of that because I think you'd be blown away. They smell very close to me and I love, I've always loved that smell for some reason. It's masculine as fuck to me. Well, speaking of Tom Ford. That's right. We have another bonus episode coming up this week. You're damn right. And it's from a friend of the podcast named Ode Johnny. That is right. From Instagram. This man was kind enough to take a decant. In fact, we should just open up the package while we're here. Let's do it. But he took the time to send us a decant of his own Tom Ford. We remember which fragrance it was, but it's a discontinued one. So mega props to that because I would I don't know if I'd want to part ways with my stuff. Yeah, really blown away by you guys, the friends of the podcast. Go ahead, Ryan. Oh, go no, go ahead. I was just I'm just trying to show a little <laughs> bit of love for the people out there. You guys have been so <clears throat> generous and so amazing. You really make this podcast so much fun. Swear to God, it really is. We've had a few people send us stuff in the past, and there's stuff that we really got to get in order to get those out, and we promise we're going to. And this guy sent it in a nice little package. Oh, sent a little Argos pouch. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, I remember. This is one that you messaged me about. It's like harder to say. It's Vert something. Yeah, he, he wrote it on there. John? you have handwriting like me so i can say this you can't read it dude okay we got He's probably a doctor writing. yeah <laughs> yeah vert day vert de something or another we'll look it up we'll make sure for the episode that we you know don't sound like absolute idiots but <laughs> that's kind of the mo of the podcast but <laughs> so yeah speaking of tom ford we'll have that coming up little bonus episode for you tomorrow thanks to our friend of the podcast ode johnny yeah, that's right. And we really appreciate everything you guys do for us. We hope we're providing something for you guys in return. We really do. This is so much fun to us. It's cathartic. It releases negativity from us. It <laughs> builds our life back even better. That's right. We love doing this for real for everybody. And, and Johnny, just to let you know, on top of the five decants that we're sending out of ohm 2 we'll also in addition send you a decant of it as a thank you for being so generous with your fragrances absolutely so you don't have to write in you're getting one so surprise yeah and we've got your address bud that's right we're gonna come knocking on your door <laughs> publisher's clearinghouse there you go. <laughs> and told you that you won 5 ml <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, but if you guys want to help the show and you love today's episode, make sure to go to thecolonepodcast.com. That's right. And you can follow us on our Instagram there. You can buy us a coffee there. You can even write us an email there. Yep. And if you want to smell this, be sure you do. Yep. And if you want to really support the show, Ooh. then I beg you. Look, I'm down on here. Oh, boy. Here we go. I'm down on my knees, okay? I'm looking right into your soulless eyes, This okay? is not a pretty sight, so please, guys. <laughs> I'm groveling at your feet. <laughs> I need you guys to seriously share the show. Share it with everybody. You go see your doctor. He's checking your genitals to make sure everything's okay. Tell him about it. Have, make the conversation a little easy in there, okay? And, guys, <laughs> if you go to... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's today's episode. We really hope y'all really enjoyed it. We love every one of y'all. And until next time, spray it up, y'all.